Hey guys, this is Cards to Cars. If you're returning, welcome back. And this is your first time. This is our go-kart build. A lot of our parts came in recently, so we're going to break them down for you guys. So let's get right into it. So guys, this is everything that we need to get the front end done. And uh, a couple of miscellaneous stuff that goes to the engine. But we can't do anything engine-wise until we get our axle kit that won't be here until Friday, unfortunately. So, um, we do have plenty of work ahead of us. Uh, we do have to design front suspension. Uh, not really suspension, more or less, just a, a knuckle for these to turn on. Um, if, you can, if you look over here, we got a bunch of raw material. So we're gonna make some stuff happen there. So let's just get straight into some fabrication on the front end. Let's go. Like that? I came out good, eh? So like, whatever you say, pet an apple, apple pen. Don't you disrespect me or my pen pineapple pen ever again. All right, so this is what we got right now. At least this is our idea of what to do. Right here, we've got a collar and the diameter of the inside of the hole is just bigger than this diameter of the hole. So our idea is to slip this between here and have this free moving. And then this obviously won't be there, but that nut is gonna get welded to the inside of this so that we can have these two bolts slip in there and then a washer on both sides so that they can move freely okay so i just wanted to pause here and explain something real quick everything that we're doing right here is not actually what ended up happening those knuckles with the nut that was just a dumb idea obviously there's too much play or too little play to be good enough for steering it just kept binding up everywhere so what i ended up doing was going to five below and getting a little baby skateboard and robbing the bearings off of the wheels and then i got a bigger collar and slipped the bearings inside and just tacked them in i didn't want to completely weld the bearings because i didn't want to throw too much heat at it and end up melting the balls inside the bearing it was stupid of me not to record i don't know how i forgot but there's gonna end up being quite the jump in progress so that is the explanation for all of that sorry guys
life. It's just me in the garage today, so we're gonna get the front suspension braced up so that we can actually put some weight on it and um, figure out the toe problem. It seems as though the right side requires more toe out to be even with this having no toe. Um, it could just be a visual thing because looking at it, it seems like there's not too much of a difference but you can see that side is maxed out inside and that one is not so something about the steering geometry is not correct I'm assuming um, has to do with these control arms not being perfect they kinda don't come out the same way so yeah, I'm gonna try to get that fixed and also try to get the control arms all braced up so that it can actually be weight bearing and uh, figure out the actual steering angle left and right to see how big of a difference there is and how to go about changing that up. Alright so what I got going on here is I've got this little plate that was originally attached to this frame that we got so I know that's true to the frame. That is level and what I did was I took these boots off, I slid these and if you look under here there's a set of gears but I just measured from this stationary piece right here on the side with my caliper and there was another notch inside this boot that I used as a reference point to make sure that it was dead in the middle and then I used my foam level to figure out the toe in or slash toe out relative to that being level. Now when I turn the wheel when it goes right this has 46 degrees and that's at 50 and then when it turns left that's at 49 and that's at 46. There's something definitely wrong there and I'm not sure what to do to fix it other than to redo these and to be honest with you I really don't want to so I think the best way to do it is to just keep going until we have a problem honestly the only way to make things better is to break it or figure out they don't work so we might as well just keep going forward so that we can keep making progress because as much as I want to make this perfect the first time it would be better at least to get the whole thing together and then take it on as a whole to see exactly what doesn't work about our design. So this is all a learning experience and this is just going to have to be one of them. Throughout the rest of this I'm going to try to do my best to be a lot more accurate but this is really to be honest with you my first time fabricating anything of this scale. Even these little knuckles with the bearings inside like that was quite a, that was honestly a big feat for me I've never really fabricated this much before and this whole mounting system like it's all first kind of Frankensteined this steering rack together so that we could use the the old uh, steering system more or less and just tied it into our U-joint to the steering rack but hopefully there's not going to be too much of a problem down the line we'll see what happens though as of now also we've determined on the ground it has at least 10 degrees on both sides I think this side has negative 11 and that has negative 10 so that also um, contributes to our problems but just gonna keep going
said, my main reason for coming out here tonight was to get those control arms kind of more aligned. Um, we had a problem where one side was kicked out further this way and the other one was more straight. I got that straightened and then we had another problem where this side had too much camber and this side was pretty much level. So I did my best to mirror them. They're still not perfect. Um, the toe is still not really set correctly. Um, this, despite the wheel being crooked, it is straight right here, or at least it should be. And I think for tonight, that's gonna be a good stopping point for me. Um, I, I really just wanted to get those tidied up. But um, if you guys are seeing any issues right off the bat with the steering, I know steering can get pretty complicated. Um, and you do have to do it right or else it's not really going to work the best, especially in a drift application. Um, the last thing I want is for this wheelbase to be way too wide and me trying to hold on to a drift and either spin out or just understeer through it. Um, I have some worries that there's not going to be enough traction up front or enough weight up front to give enough traction to be able to not understeer so we're gonna see what happens there um, I don't know if you guys noticed but on these knuckles there is some threads on the hubs uh, for some front disc brakes so my current idea is we can have the front brake up here for the front brakes and then we have and then we have a brake for the rear axle that possibly we could hook up to a handbrake somehow, whether that be cable driven or maybe down the line get a hydro. Um, not really sure about that yet, but um, yeah, that's where I'm gonna stop for tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow.